Play UA Financial Assistance Program is geared to assist our residents with an accessible and sustainable financial assistance program. Uh, we're very pleased with the results that we had this past year. We did assist 35 families uh, throughout the year with over $7,000 of reduced fees that um, were split pretty evenly between pool memberships and program registration reductions. For year two, we, what we realized is that the amount of transaction fees that we were able to attain and accumulate and the amount of donations, we collected a sufficient amount of revenue to cover the need within the community. We are hopeful that this year more families, if need, may find out about the program and become eligible for it and, and benefit from the, these funds. As far as the application process, it's uh, very simple. For those that are already in the program, I, 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 um, they did renew their application, uh, but it's something that we feel is a starting point for a very sustainable program. This starts to build on a program now, so as we look forward to the community center, we know we have a system in place that can help our families in need. So we were approached by the Upper Arlington Lacrosse Association uh, with the idea for the project that we were, were super excited about. This is a public-private partnership. Uh, they came to us with the idea and were willing to um, help fund the majority of the improvement, recognizing the need out in the park. Um, they were great to work with because they wanted it to be something that benefited the whole community. It's really unique in the fact that it combines a bunch of different sports into one multi-use court, not just box lacrosse. One big thing it adds is our only outdoor basketball hoops that we have in the city. So we now have four outdoor basketball hoops out there in one of our city parks. Um, it's uh, an amenity that really no other city in the area has as far as the box lacrosse, um, something that kids who that's their sport, they can keep playing on into the fall and winter and get some great um, kind of off season experience out there and it really it took a facility that was kind of underperforming in need of repair and it's replaced with a brand new kind of state-of-the-art facility out there. Arts in Arlington was um, a part of our Music in the Park series last year um, so it was a concert down in the uh, Malway district but it's really so much more. Our art manager Jody Osborne was hearing feedback about the very competitive nature to get into Labor Day Arts Festival and showcase your art. And we knew there was a gap there, there's still an area to fill to allow more of the emerging artists to have an opportunity to showcase their art. So looking at our concert series, she was able to take a Music in the Park performance, bring in the artist component, also make it more of a cultural experience with the food and um, more cuisine and also a beer garden opportunity. So taking what was a standard concert and really building on that. We had art displayed um, inside the businesses. The idea being that it gave a chance for people to display artwork, but also attracted people into the businesses. It was a very successful event on many factors. In fact, it actually won first place award from the Ohio Parks and Recreation Association for historic and cultural events. So we're very proud of that. She also has used this as, this, as a foundation for changing the Music in the Park series to, the, to a UA performance series this year, which we will have five similar type of art and culture events as opposed to the standard eight individual music performances. So we're very excited to build on that success. For 2023, we are, uh, our, our department is really focusing on improving some of the quality of our services. We are releasing our new department brand, and that is very exciting for our department to have this unified look of uh, our approach to communicating our programs and services throughout all of our programs, events, facilities, uh, you know, staff uniforms, just to have this cohesive look and image that we are portraying with a, a new brand. We've got a lot of work to do in terms of continuing to deliver on the work that we're doing on North and Park. It is a park that is at the heart of so much that is in this community. Uh, that's focused on the community. It's where we have Labor Day Arts. It's where we have the party in the park at the fourth. Uh, I don't know how many t-ball games, or not t-ball games, but baseball games and bear cub games and uh, football games and all that stuff gets played, uh, softball games, all that that gets played there. We just executed the contract uh, for the Northam Field renovation, so we're going to be breaking ground on that soon. And um, it's really a chance for us to kind of follow up with the capital improvements that will support the turf management plan and the process we went through last year. So it should be a really great improvement out there, improving the drainage, irrigation, and should really bring those fields up to where they need to be. And we have a large tennis facility that we need to make some decisions on uh, what the future of that facility looks like. How, may, how are we going to set that facility up for um, another 
20, 30 years of success like it's had in the past. You know, obviously, the, the biggest thing that we're all looking forward to is the community center. So we are taking the opportunity to uh, restructure some of our programs, to build in some of our policies and practices to prepare for uh, having things in place for the community center well in advance of the community center um, actually coming to fruition. We're in the midst right now, we're in early February and we're, we're getting final pricing back on uh, the community center so we need to figure out uh, whether this is ultimately something that we um, can afford to build and, and should build and we're going to bring that to council in March. So assuming that that answer is a yes then it's going to be about uh, delivering on this uh, whether you count it as three and a half years or whether you count it as 43 and a half years. The community has been working on deciding what it wants in a community center, where the community center should be, and um, all the details that go into that. So 2023 is going to be a lot about delivering on that promise.